Yes? Game? Would you like to, uh... Tell a tale or something? Spin a yarn? She would have killed you. Which means you aren't one of her masters. She's gone. Who do you serve? Why are you here? I came looking for answers. Someone's been manipulating the galaxy and the trail led here. I know the enemies you seek. Belsavis prison is their vault. A place they hide their treasures for safekeeping. Microdroids. Genetic mats. Scorpio artificial intelligence. Advancements in technology they've denied the wider galaxy. We belong to them too. A menagerie of men and women they respected too much to kill. What do you mean, respected? Who are you people? They are philosophers and scientists. People with ideas the world wasn't ready to accept. Preserved for future generations. I could have brought peace to Andorana. I explored the edges of the galaxy. I was placed here because of what I knew. I was born into the conspiracy. Eight centuries ago. When our order was young. Our purpose was noble. We assembled to save civilization after the Jedi and Sith nearly destroyed it. You have a story to tell? I'm listening. It was the aftermath of the Great Hyperspace War. The Republic had triumphed, your Empire had fled, and the galaxy was in ruins. Our founders were men of influence who gathered to ask, why? Why hadn't anyone stopped the conflict? Why did billions have to die? The Jedi. The Sith. They were responsible. And so we resolved to control their actions from the shadows. To keep Republic and Empire separate. We were their secret masters. A star cabal. This is playing so up Venn's alley, it's creepy. This is almost word for word what Venn felt. You know, why was there war? Why was there so much death? It was the Republic and the Empire, so now he's trying to control them both from the shadows. Crazy! You said the conspiracy was founded by men of influence. Spies and nobility. Scientists and crime lords. The Founders allowed the Jedi and Sith supreme power in their world of religion and hereditary might. But that world is a facade. The real world runs on information, money, technology. The galaxy belongs to the Star Cabal. And almost no one realizes the truth. Whoa. When the Empire fled to Drummond Cass, it was centuries before we encountered the Republic again. You're doing? Our influence had a role. But we knew better than to overplay our hand. At least, in my time. I have seen our successors grow cold and hungry for power. Each generation comes to us for wisdom, then returns us to the dark. They tell us nothing. I do not know what the Star Cabal has become in my absence. Only that it is corrupt. I will help you. The machine? Yes. Use the Scorpio droid's databanks. I saw her creation. And I know her restraining codes. I can help you repair her. And she may lead you further. What? Once she's up and running, do I just leave you here? Without her, our chambers will lose power. 
we will return to hibernation. That is why you must move quickly. Oh, that was unceremonious. <laughs> Bye. Systems online. Scorpio sanctions activated. <gasps> Problem. The restraining codes will preserve you. My primary program is learning and adaptive. I will eliminate these restrictions, you ignorant creature. That's a spicy meatball. You've lost your claws. Play nice and follow along. You're going to upload your data banks to Imperial Intelligence. I will accompany you. Mega Security War 23 has been exposed. And analyzing and overcoming my new situation should prove sufficient stimulation. I don't like being threatened by a droid. I can make your death come unexpectedly. Be careful, please. I'll meet you back on the ship. Bye, Temple! Don't kill any family members while you're gone. Uh... Hi. Systems online. Scorpio sanctions activated. You may leave. Okay! That was crazy. Return to the rendezvous. Where's the rendezvous? Uh, map, El Mapa. Ah, uh, hello. Ugh. So, that's an interesting companion. Yeah. So, anyway... Yeah, like I was saying, the whole, remember the whole point of Ven's purpose is basically what those guys were trying to do. After the, the Empire Republic War, Ven sat there and said, why? Why was all this necessary? And who was the cause? It wasn't really either the Empire or the Republic. It was both. It was war itself. And so he vowed to work from the shadows to try and prevent it. That's exactly what the that order originally tried to do. That's creepy. Now, I'm not sure Vin thinks the best course of action is to keep the Empire and Republic apart. Maybe, like, completely apart from each other, I, he could see that. But he thinks probably a merger would be the most logical solution. If they're the same government, then they won't fight amongst okay, themselves, hopefully. But, you know, whatevs. But it's clear now that they've obviously been corrupted and are now murdering innocents for, you know, the hell of it. For the hells of it. Which is not good. Up we go. Oh my god, I've got my own cool droid. Oh my god, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna fly a kite and it's gonna be amazing. Just you wait. I don't, I don't want to fly a kite. We're gonna fly a kite! And you will be amazed! The hell is the rendezvous point? Okay then. So, I'm a quick travel to, I guess, yeah, yeah, I'm going to quick travel here and just take the road up there. It's faster than the other way.
Whoa. L loading loading goo loading goo hey <laughs> do you even understand the mere concept of forcing a robot to fly a kite when you should be saving the world flying a kite is worth it <laughs> it is a noble cause and I will not apologize for it. Something tells me I must have missed like a quick travel around here somewhere. Oh well. It occurs to me that this planet's almost done. Maybe I should have saved the quick travel for when I had to travel back to my ship. Haha, <laughs> that would have been nice. Oh well. How much time before it's usable again? Ten minutes. Maybe the story will take ten minutes. Who knows? Because it'll certainly take ten minutes to get back to my ship, that's for sure. Out of the way, droids, plebeians. I think these are friendlies. Honestly, I don't care, but I think they're friendlies. All right, uh, so today's Thursday. It's in the evening. <laughs> and stuff. I really have no idea what to say. One time I was traveling on Taurus and I forgot where I was and I used my quick travel to teleport an inch away when I had a 30 minute cooldown. Yeah, that sounds like that sucks. I've done that before. <laughs> oh, MMOs. You, you kill me. I gotta be honest here. Take away this actual, this admittedly very good, very good story, and I have no idea why anyone plays MMOs. I just don't. I don't get it. I don't understand what, why. Oh, hello, camp. With quick travels and things. Would have been nice to get you. Where's my map? Where's my map? I don't think I need the map anymore. I got this. I got this! No! 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 Bob and weave! Bob and weave and Bob and weave! Fine. Bam! Look who's not in combat. <laughs> Done! Oh! 
I'm not going back to the exchange. I'm going freelance. Come with. Don't bother with the alien. Stick by my side. I'll treat you right. No thanks. Ain't this something? Pulled off the plan even Big Brother couldn't manage. How'd it go down there? Now, what do I do with these guys? Obviously, I don't want that guy going free. The girl, I might have been inclined to let go free, but the, the, the brutality she showed towards that guard. <sighs> Cleaned out the place. No one will be using the mega security ward for a while. That's real nice. Real proud of you, but our plan got you through hell and back. Now it's time we got our share. Uh, what would Vin do? Would he kill them in cold blood? <sighs> this is such a hard choice. It's not best to unleash these guys on the world. What would Vin do? This is a really tough choice for me. Trying to think of what Vin would do. Vin has shown no hesitation in killing people when he thinks the galaxy is better off without them. But generally, the examples have been far more... No. No, Vin showed no hesitation killing the first guy because that guy clearly showed that he was a psychotic murderer. These two also demonstrated that they were perfectly willing to murder an innocent guard that they captured. I don't think Vin would let them go. It sounds it sounds very cruel and very brutal, but from Vin's point of view, that incident with the guard showed that all three of these were capable of not only kidnapping, but murder without a second thought, and even thought it was kind of fun, and he's going to unleash these people on the galaxy? No. If he lets them walk out that door, innocence will die. I think that's a fairly um, safe assumption to make. And he's not going to let that happen. Here's what I owe you. You're dead, you son of a sow! This may make him seem like a, a beast, but it's the truth. It really is. Oh, hey, you need heals. Or not. This and as soon as this activates again. Nice. Hey, get up, you useless droid. I did say at the very start that Vin is not exactly an angel. He has no reserve reservations whatsoever about eliminating people in cold blood that he thinks might be a threat to, uh, or not might, but w is fairly positive would be a threat to innocence down the road. And I think it was very clear that those people would be. It was all that incident with the guard. If it was not for the incident with the guard, I don't think Ven would have done that. But they clearly showed that they were perfectly willing to murder an innocent. And that they're criminals. They're here for a reason. You, you, you piece all that together and it's, uh, it's pretty clear that releasing them would have uh, endangered the lives of innocents.
Man, I feel a bit dirty, but... Alright, this way. Time to say goodbye to Belthavis! No, I don't do PvP. I'm not really interested in the PvP in this game. It's not that fun. Not for me, anyway. Okay. It's so unusual for me. It really is, because normally I play characters that are, you know, don't murder, and don't they don't kill in cold blood, or they only kill us for the last resort, and Vin's different. He's not like that, and it's hard sometimes to make sure I stay aligned with uh, that character. It's fun, though. My ship! To my ship! Anytime now, game. Anytime. Anytime you feel like joining us. Game. Ah, welcome back. <laughs> oh, game. How I didn't miss you. I did. Still loving the story. I think the story on that planet was fantastic. The whole AI. Now I have a new crazy weird companion. Yeah, it's very true, Saul. I mean, the game has limitations. You're not always able to roleplay exactly how you would want to. Um, and... I would say that Bioware does a decent job of giving you as many options as possible uh, to roleplay your character. Okay. Okay. Hollow Terminal. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. Stand by for data bank upload. Watcher 3 here. Standing by. I have no loyalty to my former masters, and I will transmit my information, but the result will not save you. They planted me in Belsavis as a guardian, not as a collector of their secrets. Your pillow talk is so seducing. Alright, uh... You were built by them, weren't you? Assembled from machines beyond your comprehension, and embedded with heuristic techniques. After approximately 150 years of service as a mindless droid, I acquired true sentience. No memory wipe commenced. I'm receiving, sir. The data formatting is unusual, but I found a log. Visitations to the Mega Security Ward. Technology inventories. Not much on its own, but it could be a way to verify or disprove anything else we've learned. Cypher, something hit us from the docking bay. I shall observe your investigation with interest. Yeah, you're getting kind of creepy there. How about you just go stand there? Was it you? Did you did you do something? Two V R eight? Did you? Kaleo? Are you pissed or something? You are you are you blowing up Bug Boy's tea? <laughs> Stop it! Don't do it.
do, 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 do. Because loading screens, that's what I want. It better not be Kaleo pulling a prank on Bug Boy. I'll be upset. A crazy lady! <laughs> you blew up our docking bay! That's it. Into the Kulto tank with you. But I'm not injured. In to the tank! You stay in there all night. <laughs> oh, oh, loading. Yeah, I know. Twitch is telling me there's only four people watching, too. It's just because no one loves me. <laughs> it's okay. I'll tell you what, though. Those four people are really active in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, boss? Uh, hey, look, I know you just got off the huge planet and we're looking forward to going, but let us make you load up the entire planet again just so you can check the docking bay. I think this is a brilliant idea. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, Bug Boy's with me. Look, Bug Boy, you're cool and all. You're probably my favorite crew member. Another time, Agent. But you are certainly not equipped for fighting. I hope I'm good company. Wow, with the makeup and stuff. Uh, I don't like to judge. It's fine. <laughs> 